Funding for this program was made possible by the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale. I'm here with LJ Vargas, sixth grader from Crescenta Valley Elementary. LJ, what's your favorite part of your poster? I would say the donkey that I drew. Oh, you like lit or not. Okay. And how long did it take you to draw your poster? About a week. A week. And is this your first time participating in the poster contest? Yes. Well, congratulations, LJ, on being a finalist in the 2013 poster contest. Arabella, tell me a little bit about your poster. Um, um, they told me to draw a donkey and it's with other people cleaning up um, trash. Trash, okay, and I see some really colorful houses there. Are these houses here in Glendale? No. No, they're not? Would you like to see some colorful houses like that here in Glendale? Yeah. Yeah, and are any of these girls here in the pictures cleaning up you? No. no. Who are they then? Um, other people. Other people, okay. And what did you use to draw this uh, poster? Paint and colors. Paint and colors, very good. Jonah, how long did it take you to draw this beautiful poster? A long time. A long time. And I see you got a community garden in the poster. Where did you get that idea from? Well, I just thought it up and I thought it was just a good idea, so I put it in there. I like that. And would you like a community garden in your neighborhood? Yes. So it looks like we'll have to expand our community gardens from three to more in uh, Jonah's neighborhood. Jonah, congratulations on this great poster. Thank you. Thank you. Alexis, tell me uh, where you got the inspiration from this great poster. Well, I wanted to make something creative, um, and I got this idea from like many books that I, I saw the pictures from. Okay, and how long did it take you to draw this beautiful poster? Um, two days. Three days, that's a real, two days, that's a great effort. And are these the Verdugo Mountains here in Glendale? No, I just wanted to make a d details. Details, I like that. Attention to details. Alexis, thank you very much and congratulations on being a finalist today. Thank you. Javi, uh, what did you use to draw your poster? Um. Crayons and markers. Crayons and markers. And I see there's a school. Is that your school? Yes. yes. And there's a park in the background. What park is that? CV Park. Do you like the park? Yes. And it's important to keep the parks clean, just like you have in your picture, right? Yes. All right. Kavi, congratulations, and thank you for participating in this year's contest. Dino, tell me a little bit about your poster. Well, I wanted to show people that how important it is to clean Glendale and it's really important to keep the nature clean because for everything, like habitat and everything. And I just wanted to draw people cleaning up the neighborhood. Uh, that's very important. You're right. And are you in this poster? Yes. Where are you? I'm drawing, uh, throwing trash. Very good. And do you and your friends get out and clean the community like yes, this? Yes, sometimes we do. And oh. it's very important to clean the community. I like that. Very good answer. All right. Well, Dino, thank you very much and congratulations on being a finalist. This thank year. you very much. <laughs> Rika, tell me a little bit about your poster. Um, I like my neighborhood because they're nice to me and we talk to each other and we keep Glendale clean. Okay, and do you keep your neighborhood clean? Yeah.
It's important to keep your neighborhood clean, isn't it? Uh-huh. All right. And what are these people here doing at the bottom? Mm. Watering the plants and throwing the leaves away. All right. And do you water your plants? Yeah. Okay. Well, Rika, thank you for keeping your plants green. And congratulations on being a finalist this year. Thank you. Lucy, tell me a little bit about your poster. Well, um, I wanted to go from far to um, close, so as you can see, I did that. And um, and since I did this in my art school, I learned something new actually. And um, yes, that's great technique. And I see Taylor Swift is in your poster. Why is that? Oh. Um, I'm one of her biggest fans. I love her. Okay, and is she keeping uh, green and clean? Yes. Good, good role model. And what did you use to paint this picture? Um, I used paint and um, I used a black pen to outline my painting. That's great technique. Lucine, thank you very much and congratulations on being a finalist this year. Thank you. I'm here with Tabitha Jerpseth, third grader from First Lutheran School. Tabitha, tell me uh, what your favorite part of your poster is. I like the donkey. And why do you like the donkey? Because it like supports the animals in, uh, in cleaning up the trash. And it's important to clean up the trash, isn't it? Yes. Do you help clean up the trash around your school and around your community? Yes. Okay, and how long did it take you to draw your poster? A week. A week. And where did you get the idea for your beautiful poster from? Well, I did it. I did something like that last year, but I used more details in it this year. That's awesome. I'm here with Jessica Hovanisi, a second grader from Columbus Elementary, and her sister Natalie. Jessica, tell me a little bit about your poster. Well, I drew up, um, about the kids cleaning up the area at the park. At the park. And which park is this? Well, I don't remember, but I know it's a park. I like that. And uh, are you in this picture? Yes. Which one? This one. That's you. Okay. And you do you clean up parks a lot? Yeah, sometimes. I like that. It's very important. Well, Jessica, Natalie, thank you very much, and congratulations on your poster. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing out there? All right. My name is Philip Escandar, and I'm a program specialist with the Community Development Department. On behalf of the city of Glendale, we'd like to welcome you all to a very special award ceremony tonight in honor of our 2013 I Love My Neighborhood Poster Contest finalists. This year, we received thousands of entries across middle schools and elementary schools throughout Glendale, and each finalist was selected by a distinguished panel of judges for their depiction of this year's theme, Keep Glendale Clean in 2013. A little later, we will be spotlighting this year's artwork and all the finalists, as well as announcing all of our winners and grand prize finalists. But before we do that, I'd like to invite the 2012 grand prize winner, Michelle Tomasian, to the stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Michelle? Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Michelle. And now it's time to get the show started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome to the stage Director of Glendale's Community Development Department, Mr. Hassan Hagani. Thank you, Philip, and uh, thank you all for coming here. We're going to get to, through this very quickly so the people who are getting the awards can get their awards quickly. Um, Today, how many of you know that today we're also celebrating the 20th anniversary of this event? It's been 20 years. Congratulations to all of you. 
this started with a, only a few hundred entries 20 years ago. Now we get over 10,000 entries each year. Congratulations to all of the people who participate. Uh, before, before we start the, the, the show, I'd like to uh, introduce Christine Walt Walters over here, the, the president of the Glendale Unified School District Board of Education. Thank you for being here. I'm going to ask uh, Joan to come up here and do the next piece, and thank you very much for being here. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Uh, my name is Joan Zierhut, and I am the chair for the Committee for Clean and Beautiful Glendale, also a teacher at Mark Keppel Elementary School. Um, the Committee for Clean and Beautiful uh, in Glendale is a volunteer citizen board that operates programs and advises the city of Glendale on community beautification issues. We work very closely with the staff of the Community Development Department on this and other civic, projects, civic pride projects. This afternoon, it is my pleasure to introduce my colleagues on the committee. Please stand when I call your name. Um, Armin Abadian, Joyce Ivacy, Sam Engel, Pauline Ferguson. She's way in the back there. There she is. Wave, Pauline. Hello. Marilyn Gunnell. She's back there as well. Uh, Margaret Hammond. Over there. Hild oh, Hilda's not here. Hilda LaFurla isn't here. Joe Mandoki. I think Joe's here somewhere. Oh, he's out there helping. It's a good volunteer. Uh, Jim Reichgelt, there we go. Don McPullen isn't here. Uh, Lenora Solis, way in the back there, hello. Shara Versaybelt, Versaybelt, where is she? she's over there. And Christine Walters, who is also on our committee. Oh, she's right here, there you go. Um, so let's also give a special welcome to a longtime program supporter and Emeritus member, Carol Jean Felkel. She's here as well. It's nice to have you join us this afternoon. All right, Philip, back to you. Thank you very much, Joan. At this time, I'd like to invite Outreach Program Supervisor Juan Gonzalez for a very special piece. Juan? Good afternoon, everyone. And I'm going to ask Michelle to join me up on stage for this part of the program. As Hassan said, it's the 20 anniversary of the poster contest. It's also the 45th anniversary of Litter Not, our mascot. If you look at your program, we have a replica of the original contest form, as well as a little bit of history about Litter Not. But that's not the real reason why I invited Michelle up on stage. It's also her 13th birthday today. So. Michelle, have you ever had 300 people sing happy birthday to you? No. I think we need to do something about that, folks. So on the count of three, we're going to sing happy birthday to Michelle. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. All right, happy birthday. Thank you very much, Juan and Michelle. Happy birthday. And I believe I just got word that we just had Councilman Dave Weaver arrive. Uh, Mr. Weaver, would you like to join me on stage? Here's Councilman Dave Weaver. Well, 20 minutes ago, I was weeding in the backyard, and I got a warning on my blackberry. I was supposed to be here at 5, but that's a quick change. No script. Well, what can I say? Uh, I think this is my 13th, no, 16th, 16th uh, uh, time I've done this, uh, usually with Sam Engel. Sam here? Oh, no. He always did this, and he retired and then ran for city council. Um, 20 and I've done 16. It, it never ceases to amaze me uh, what our young children are capable of doing. We've had a few of these children that have won more than one time. They've come back. Uh, they went 
uh, when it one, uh, one age and they come back at an older age to do it. But it's just another way of showing what our kids are capable of doing if they put their minds to it. All children need to have uh, some goal, something that they like to do. I serve on the Bob Hope Airport Commission, and every year we have a poster contest there, too. Uh, we, uh, we have Burbank, Pasadena, and Glendale. And the ones that eventually win their photos, you'll see them on the front of the terminal building, and that is a goal worth uh, hoping for. I know that uh, I saw a multi-winner here last year, and I told her, okay, now you'll move on to the next phase, and I'll see you at the Bob Hope Airport uh, Commission. Uh, I'm an artist myself. I went to Glen Oaks Elementary. Uh, ah, there we go. Finally, some alumni. That was back in the 1940s, uh, another century ago. Um, and then Wilson and Glendale High and the college and University of Arizona, but USC. That's why I get picked on at fun at City Hall. Uh, but football will be back. Um, I, I don't want to say much more. I had a script. They had it to me, but I like to just have live it. I thank you all, your parents, your dedication to make sure your kids are involved and get them here for this. It's uh, my, one of my favorite things to do, especially if I can remember when I'm supposed to be here to do it. So. Uh, while it's going on, I'm going to go back and see if I can pick out a winner again. I haven't been too good at it, but uh, I'm sure there's some great ones back there. And thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Councilman Weaver. At this time, I'd like to invite Christine Walters, president of the Glendale Unified School District's Board of Education up for a very special recognition for the, some of the most important members of our audience, the teachers. Ms. Walters? Thank you and good afternoon. It's so great to see all of you here. Um, yes, this program definitely would not be possible without the tremendous support of our teachers. Um, there are rules to be followed, as, as you all know. Um, there's a lot of logistics involved in you know, getting, the, getting it on the right paper, getting, getting lit or not on there. Um, so having the teacher support and taking the time to do this in the classrooms um, and, and basically delivering the message of uh, you know clean and beautiful is really important and we really appreciate it so this year um, we decided you know we need to recognize our, our teachers for for um, for their support of this program and so we've had some um, some prizes donated and so um, when the teachers came in you got a raffle ticket and we have selected uh, those four winners and I'm gonna tell you who you are and and um, if I call your name you're gonna go over there and see Shara and she will um, she'll give you a prize so um, the first winner of Dodger tickets is Melissa Cannon from Mark Keppel. The winner of a $50 Starbucks card, that's a lot of coffee, is uh, Carrie Wiedemeyer from Dunsmore. The winner of a $50 Outback Steakhouse gift card is Irma Atanian. And our final winner of a $50 Olive Garden gift card is Mrs. Barnes from Verdugo Woodlands. So thank you again. Yeah, our winners just need to go over here. And thank you again so much to all our teachers um, for the support. Obviously, this is a very successful program, and you have a lot to do with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Walters. Now at this time... I'd like to go to the most important part and what we're going to discuss now, the finalists throughout the Jewel City. Please hold your applause so everyone can hear their names and we will then at the end of this presentation go to our top 10 and grand prize winner. Tongi Gaivandian, John Marshall Elementary. Lori Demirjian, Armenian Sisters Academy. Sophie Ludes, Dunsmore Elementary. 
Lisa Obara, Crescenta Valley Adventist Academy. Alice Lee, Valley View Elementary. Ani Zeragyan, Shamilian Armenian School. Georgie Garibian, Mark Keppel Elementary. Anahit Sukiazian, John Marshall Elementary. Zina Sao, La Crescenta Elementary. Jessica Hovanesian, Columbus Elementary. Kavi Varman, Lincoln Elementary. Jonah Yi, Monte Vista Elementary. Rika Basaya, Thomas Edison Elementary. Leandro Ramos, Glendale Adventist Academy. Leora Price, Horace Mann Elementary. Olivia Villa Gomez, Cerritos Elementary. Jocelyn Cho, Mountain Avenue Elementary. Mabel Moon, Verdugo Woodlands Elementary. Savannah Gonzalez, R.D. White Elementary. Mika Brown, Glendale Preschool and Kindergarten. Tabitha Jerpseth, First Lutheran School. Milena Chobayan, John Muir Elementary. Luis J. Vargas, Crescenta Valley Adventist. Jaylene Ortega, Horace Mann Elementary. Katie Blood, Mountain Avenue Elementary. Maya Allaire, Verdugo Woodlands Elementary. Leanne Chow, Glendo Adventist Academy. Alexis Aziz, First Lutheran School. Lucine Yen Gibarian, Atanian Arts Center. Edwin R. Kellyan, Mark Keppel Elementary. Aline Keshishian, Armenian Sisters Academy. Brian Cha, Valley View Elementary. Dino Stepanyan, Columbus Elementary. Elizabeth Peterson, Dunsmore Elementary. Reese Sunada, Fremont Elementary. Arabella Isakhanyan, Atanian Art Center. Ariana Keshishian, Shamlian Armenian School. Miguel Camacho, Toll Middle School. Julian Dubies, Robin's Nest. Lala Vianeda, Glen Oaks Elementary. Jamie Fritz, Glen Oaks Elementary. Michael Dadayan, R.D. White Elementary. 
Matthew Henry P. Sanchez, John Muir Elementary, Megan Parada, Fremont Elementary, Felicity Kim, Lincoln Elementary, Will all of tonight's finalists please stand up? Let's give a big round of applause to all our finalists. All right, I would now like to invite Michelle Tomasian and Ms. Joan back up on stage for the top 10 finalists in our grand prize winner. Our number 10 finalist is Reese Sunata from Fremont Elementary. Please join me on stage as I call your name. At number nine, we have Arabella Isakhanian from Atanian Arts Center. Number eight, we have Michael Dadayan from R.D. White. Good job, Michael. All right. At number seven, we have Matthew Henry P. Sanchez from John Muir Middle School. Congratulations, Matthew. Our number six finalist is Megan Parada from Fremont Elementary. Way to go, Megan. Don't run in heels, it's dangerous, I hear. Now for our top five. At number five, we have Felicity Kim from Lincoln Elementary School. At number four, we have Miguel Camacho from Toll Middle School. Way to go, Miguel. We're just moments away from unveiling our grand prize winner, and I'd like to point out that each of the next top three finalists will have a tree planted in their honor at the school in commemoration of Earth Day 2013. So at number three, let's give it up for Jamie Fritz from Glen Oaks Elementary. All right. At number two, our second place for this year, Lala Vianeda from Glen Oaks Elementary School. I know. That's fun. That's for sure. All right. And now for our grand prize winner. This just leaves, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's my pleasure to introduce our 2013 grand prize winner for Keep Glendale Clean in 2013, Ariana Keshishan from Shamiliana Tanian School. Congratulations, Ariana. Let's give a big round of applause for all of our finalists. Congratulations, and thank you all for joining us. We're going to have a brief group photo outside in the grass, so if all of our finalists could join us outside on the grass, right outside the main entry. And I'd like to remind you all that this afternoon's ceremony has been recorded for GTV6 and there are DVDs available in the back. Thank you very much and please do not take your posters home. They'll be part of a kind of a road show here in Glendale so for the next year. Thank you very much and congratulations to all of you. I'm here with Ariana Keshishian, 6th grader from Shamlian Armenian School and the 2013 Grand Prize winner. 
Ariana, tell me a little bit about your poster. The idea from this poster came from Glendale, the Jewel City, so I thought why not just draw a jewel and all of the most important things about Glendale and places right inside the jewel and people polishing it from the outside, which makes for the message that we have to keep all of Glendale clean. That's a great message to convey. And I see a lot of detail in your poster. How long have you been doing art and paintings and drawings? I've been doing art for um, quite a while now. It's been one of my passions since I was little. Um, and this poster took about a few hours, two to three hours. Excellent. And I understand uh, you believe it's really important to help keep your community, in particular your school, clean and you're very active. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, I always try to um, pick up trash anywhere I go because I think it is really important to keep um, Glendale clean. Even though some people don't think it's that important, I really do think it is. And I always try to tell everybody that we really have to um, keep, keep it clean so someday we can make a really big difference. Great message and a true role model. Ariana, congratulations on being the 2013 Grand Prize winner and a great piece of art. Thank you so much. Thank you. Funding for this program was made possible by the Committee for a Clean and Beautiful Glendale.